welcome to part two of sorting out our GVM and GCM of uh, the car and caravan. I'm standing out in the rain out in the back paddock here because it hasn't stopped raining in two days here. Um, 60 mil of rain in 24 hours in the midwest of WA is bloody top notch. Anyway, we've managed to get the caravan sorted. Uh, 2100 kilos, 2.1 tonne, which is great. It is under the max for the Prado which is two and a half ton, 2,500 kilos. Um, and the ATM of the van, which is the aggregated tear mass, if I believe, which is a fully loaded caravan, uh, 2,520 kilos we've got there. So we've got about 400 kilos to spare. So that's the van sorted and off my mind. We will do a final check. Um, once we've got everything in the van fully loaded and pretty much ready to take off but I'm doing all this well this video and the last video I'm doing this early just so that we've got a base I guess a baseline figure of what we're sort of sitting at now I wouldn't say empty we've got the the essentials we've got a full tank of fuel full tank of water uh, I just don't want to get to say the last day before we leave and find out that we're miles overweight I'd rather be somewhere close to the number so that we we know if we have to take a little bit out or we can still fit a little bit in there. And in the last video, I completely missed the ball weight, which is my fault. Uh, I read about it once the video was processing, so there's nothing you can do about it, putting it into the video there. Um, but I did forget about it. So I've managed to get my hands on a trailer ball scale, trailer ball weight scale, which uh, that, well, measures your trailer ball weight. And that weight you then add onto the weight of the Prado. So essentially losing a bit of your weight out of your GVM, which is a pain because we're right on the limit with this Prado. And yeah, nothing I can really do about that apart from get a GVM upgrade, which we're getting really, or well, losing time really. We're aiming to get on the road mid-September. Uh, so she's back early September. And yeah, it'd just be great to get on the road mid-September. Uh, WA is known to be wait a while. Um, a GVM upgrade just isn't going to happen before we leave. Also, we're aiming to only be on the road until around Christmas. Just before Christmas, we've got a couple of different things on over the Christmas break. And uh, yeah, we can live without, I guess, having all our stuff in the car. If you remember our first little van that we had, the Goldstream there, it was an absolute nightmare to lift it up just to get something out. So we stored everything in the car and it was fully overloaded. Um, but now, because we're only travelling until Christmas, we can live with an empty car and the van is so much easier to get into, it's just open the door, everything's there. So we can store all of our stuff that we had in the car in the van. And on the, I guess, the GVM upgrade, uh, potentially after Christmas I'll look at getting a GVM upgrade for this. Um, yeah, I'll look, look more into it, it does need one. If we are going to be towing a van around Australia, we're going to need a GVM upgrade. Uh, but also it does come down to, is this car suitable for us with a bigger van? Um, it's only a small engine, four cylinder, three litre. Yeah, so I'm not too sure. After Christmas, we'll link, look into it. If the prices are still sky high for these, we might even look at getting rid of this and into something more practical. But I don't really want to do it. It's a beautiful car. It's taken us everywhere and it hasn't let us down at all. Touch wood. Um, but that's a long way. That's after Christmas. So we'll revisit the GVM upgrade for this after Christmas, but let's go back earlier in the week where we test out the trailer ball scales on the caravan and sort this car out a little bit more for the for the added weight of the trailer ball. So this is it. This is a tow safe caravan and trailer ball weight scales. Um, simple bit of kit really. A load of numbers there representing the kilos and it's just some sort of compressor, I guess. But as for the caravan, I'm expecting somewhere around 200. Um, we've just put the huge lithium, 280 amp hour lithium battery and 3000 watt inverter under the bed and that's sort of mid to front so I'm expecting a fair bit of weight so yeah my guess is 200 kilos but we'll whack it under, goes under here and you simply lower the, the weight onto it. So that's fully undone there. 140 kilos, I'm happy with that, give it a shake. I don't know why, but let's take it to 100 and something. Just under 180, I'll go to 180. 
um, because there is some cupboards above that we will chuck some stuff in. I don't think it's going to be that heavy, but you never know. Um, yeah, we'll go to 180 to be safe. So um, that's good. It's under 200. I think it's good. That means we've got to take 100 and yeah, so 180 we've got to take out of the uh, add on to the GVM of the car, which I'm not too sure how much I had. I had it written down, but I've got to do some calculations now, and we're probably going to have to strip some more out of the car. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. I have to do some calculations. So on the last video, we worked out the GVM of the car is 2840. Uh, that's just with me and around 2,900 with me and Sosh. Um, we've now got to add the 180 kilos of the tow ball weight onto that, giving us 3,080 kilos. Um, the maximum GVM for the Prado is 2,990. So we've got to lose, well, a minimum 90 kilos. I'd love to lose a little bit more, um, just so that we can store some more little bits that we're going to use day to day in the car. But over the last week or so, uh, well, since the last video, it has been on a little bit more of a diet. I've stripped out little bits that I'm not going to need. Um, just some weighty things. The car seats, the back seats, are still in there. I don't really want to modify anything that I don't have to. Like the bull bar, guard rails, scrub bars, I don't want to take them off. Um, being in WA, they are a lifesaver, those scrub bars. They really reinforce the bull bar onto the chassis there. Not a lot of people realise that. But and a lot of comments saying rip out the drawers, the roof rack, the awning. Um, the drawers, they are heavy, but compared to the electric folding, whatever seats, third row seats that are in this, they're a lot lighter than that. Um, and they're just, they're handy. So they're gonna be staying in there. The roof rack, the awning, we do wanna use this car for day trips, little things like that down the beach. So the awning's gonna be staying, the roof rack staying, and it's connected. Um, but I think we should be right. It has been on a bit more of a diet. I guess we'll get this down to the weigh bridge, see what we've lost, um, we'll fuel it up again, see what weight we've lost. And see what we're under see if we need to strip any more because i think worst case scenario the thing that's going to have to come out of this which i don't want to really lose but if we have to we have to is going to be the winch at the front here it's going to free up a lot of weight but it, it's also a lifesaver that thing anyway let's get down the weigh bridge see what we weigh brimmed up and over the moon that the price has gone Finally under $2 a litre. Well, we're down here at the weigh bridge and I've got this one shut off. That's what we used last time and they're now using this one. There shouldn't be too much difference, but um, fully fueled up, fully stripped back everything. I think I've only really got camera gear, um, first aid, fire extension, a small toolkit in the back. Um, that's about it, really. Fully stripped out. But 2990. Uh, minus 180, which the van was, is quick mats, 2810. That's the number we're aiming for, um, with me in it, and then I'll probably go subtract another 50, 60 kilos for Soch. So, whatever that is, two, 2760, really, we need. Um, I don't know if we're going to get that. I think we're going to be pretty damn close, but... We'll get on there and see what it says. 2.68. Gotta be happy with that. That is really good actually. That's a lot better than I thought. Two point, let's change to 2.70 now. That's with me included and at 180 onto that is 2.88. Twenty-eight eighty plus fifty sixty kilos for Soch. Twenty we're oh, well under twenty-nine ninety. That's um we're gonna do some quick math here. So two thousand seven hundred plus one eighty is twenty-eight eighty plus say sixty for Soch, twenty-nine forty. So we've got fifty kilos remaining that we can jam in the back of this, which is really good news. But yeah, over the moon there, we're underweight. Um, yeah, it's bloody top notch. Like I said at the start of the video, uh, this is all just a rough sort of guesstimate. 
when we do get the van hooked up, ready to go, within the last couple of days, we'll check everything again, make sure we're underweight again. But I'd rather do this all now um, and get it over and done with so we know we're around the rough sort of ballpark where we have to be. But bloody happy days there. Took a while, but we got there. So that's the GVM of the car sorted. Uh, we've got about 50 odd kilos remaining that we can put in there, which will probably be chairs and day-to-day -day things that we're gonna use. Um, I've sort of overestimated the, the numbers as well, just to give us a little bit more wiggle room on our final, I guess, weigh-in, uh, which is still a while away anyway. We've still got to fill the car and caravan. But I am standing out in the rain, milling about, because we have got some packages. Uh, the first one being the tow hitch, adjustable tow hitch, which is rated to 2.75 tonne. Not that we're going to need that, the max of the car is 2.5 tonne, but it does stick out a little bit, which shouldn't affect it. Um, there's no hole in here closer. Yeah, not too sure what I think about that. Uh, it is a bit of a, a shin basher, I think, but it shouldn't affect whatever's going on there. shouldn't affect the weights. And another thing we've got, K-On rear camera, which is easy enough to install. I think it took about half an hour to install, and it is... Bloody top notch. I've still got to put that rear bag back on, but I need to find another FJ Cruiser spare tie. If anyone knows of one floating around Perth, uh, I need one. But yeah, good bit of kit there, Kayon. Everything from Kayon's a really good bit of kit. Um, didn't come with a sticker, which is a bit of a bugger. I usually chuck a sticker in. But anywho, I've got a camera back, so let's try it out. Let's see if we can hook up to the van with the camera and see if this is actually level. So I've got a camera back. Uh, it sits down low and off center, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky to back on. Compared to the original camera, it sits up high and off center, so you can look down on it and see where you are. Well, that looks pretty good to me there. I put the air suspension right up high. It should auto connect if I'm on center. So we'll do that and see what it looks like. Well, it's pretty close. We'll give it that. Needs to come back a touch, but that looks pretty close. I can work with that. And one little thing I love about this car, which I don't think any other car has got, maybe a 100 series, 200 series Sahara has got, uh, airbag suspension. It just makes hooking up a caravan so much more easier and pleasant, especially in weather like this. If you can get your tow ball and your trailer ball dead perfect spot on, uh, you can just pretty much hit the high button on your airbag suspension and it'll lift the car into the trailer. Um, yeah, definitely making it a lot easier and nicer hooking up a caravan in rainy weather. A lot quicker as well. There it is, it's done. Camera's done its work, airbags have done its work. We'll hook it up. And I'm not gonna put any chains or anything on, I'm only gonna take it forwards just to see what it looks like. If it's gonna be level, by the looks of it, it looks pretty level. Well, there it is. Certainly sits a lot flatter. It is a little bit high, I think, from looking at it at the front still. But it might just be my eyes playing with me. But it is a lot more level, and that's the car sitting level as well in the neutral position. Um, I'm not too sure about this tow ball though. It does stick out very far. There's no other little holes for it. Um, it says it's rated for it all on the box. But it's overrated for what I'm carrying, but it's just a bit of a shin basher, that one. But I'm happy with that. It's a lot more level and a lot better. Anywho, I think that's going to do me for this video. The GVM, GCM, uh, not so much GCM, we sort of sorted all the GCM, but the GVM of the car is done. Uh, over the moon there, got some little bits done, got the camera, got the drop down hitch. We are pretty much pretty good. Ready to load the van up with a little bit more crap and oh, hit the road. Anyway, thanks for watching. I look forward to your feedback as well. I'll read all the comments. Um, there's some bloody handy ones on the last video there, which is uh, really helpful. So cheers for that. A couple of people call me idiots.
I'll get over that. It is a learning process, but we're pretty much done. And before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's bought stickers over the last week. Um, seems like stickers are the in thing over the last week, but definitely check them out, jsadventure.com.au. Pick up a sticker, it really helps us out. Uh, as for next week's video, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to get a video up. Uh, I'm going away for work again, uh, back up towards Mount Augustus. So if I can get some time off after that, I might flip over there, but we'll see how we go. We are up there for work. Uh, try and get the job done. But anyway, cheers for watching. We'll see you on the next one. So the GVM on the last video was around on this thing. The GVM on this thing, sorry. Oh, I'll start that again because I'm, I'm lost. Yeah, 2.7 plus 180 is 2.98. 2.70 plus 180 is 2. Point...